So today I want to show you my brand new workflow for ranking number one using Perplexity AI. And this is a completely free workflow. I'm going to break it all down for you. I'm going to give you all your prompts and I'm going to give away all the SPs step by step so that you or your team can replicate it if you want to. Additionally, you might be saying, well, does Perplexity actually rank? If you look at Perplexity itself, you can see that their traffic over the last year has gone from half a million a month to 2.6 million a month. They are absolutely flying when it comes to SEO. Very powerful AI tool that's completely free for you to access. You might say, does AI content rank? Here's an example of a keyword. Here's an example of my content ranking number one. Here's another example of me ranking with AI content. And again, you can see we're ranking two times over here. So enough of me bragging. What we're going to do now is we have to focus on keyword research. So how are we going to do this? I want to show you, you could use Ahrefs, but I want to show you a free way to do this using perplexity. And this is a cool like one click prompt that works for pretty much any business. So let me show you exactly how it works step by step. So what we could do, and I am on the pro version, but you can use a completely free version. And what we can do from here is we can take this prompt right here. So we're going to say, give me 20 keyword ideas, niche equals, and you just type in your niche. Then for the keyword, do this, and you just put all outputs for your niche related business. Low competition stuff, don't go to niche, focus on locations, keep it short. And here's an example, right? So we're going to plug that into Plexi like so. You can customize it to your business. And this is a free way to get a bunch of keyword ideas. They're going to be fairly easy to rank for. For example, let's take some of these keywords. If we take, for example, SEO training in Singapore, and we plug that into the Keyword Explorer and HRS, which you don't need, but I'm just using it to validate that there's actually search traffic and there's actually low competition. And what you can see right here is that the keyword difficulty is pretty easy. Traffic potential I wouldn't worry about because it's a local keyword. We're searching in the United States, but that gives you an idea of how easy it is to find keywords without using a paid tool. And all you need to do is copy and paste this prompt and then customize it in like two clicks to your business. So you just customize it right here. And then you also customize it right here. Now you might say, why does this work? Well, the thing is with keyword research, most websites that are writing human written content are not going to create one specific page for this keyword, right? It's too much time, too much resources, and it doesn't validate the ROI. Whereas for example, with AI, it's very easy for you to create content relevant to locations that have much less competition and you can easily rank for them. And that's basically how you can find free keywords, get 20 different ideas, you can see proof that it's actually easy to rank. Let's test another one. Let's take, for example, SEO classes for San Francisco. And if we look this up as well, what you can see is that it's a really easy keyword to go for. Decent traffic potential. Obviously, you're going to rank for multiple variations of this particular keyword. And because it's localized to... And you can see that a lot of the pages ranking on the first page of Google actually don't have any backlinks pointing to them. So we can easily rank for those keywords as well. Now, if you actually build backlinks along the way, it'd be even more overpowered. But that's essentially how you can automate this. Now, I'll come on to an easy way you can actually create a tool around this. It's going to save you a lot of time, but we're going to keep blasting through the workflow for now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to generate the outline, right? And we're going to do this based on our competitor's article. So this prompt right here is going to generate a content outline so we can plan exactly what to write so that we have the most relevant topics for the keywords we want to target inside our content so that it's got the best possible chance to rank it. Now, this is very, very rough. I'm sure with a bit more optimization, I could actually make the prompt a lot better, but I wanted to get this workflow out for you for free so that you can start getting results fast. As you know, on this channel, we're all about the quick wits. So what I'm going to say is with my competitor's article, generate an SEO content outline for my article. Give me a list of all the relevant headings from my competitor's headings. Order the content in a clean, easy to use copy paste list of headings. Make the headings relevant to my SEO keyword. Include the SEO keyword in each heading. And then we're going to type in our SEO keyword over here. And we're now off to the races. Now, normally you would pay an outline tool quite a lot of money to actually generate content outlines for you. But with this prompt right here, you can pretty much automate it very quickly. As an example of this, we could grab the content from my existing article right here. Then we can plug that into perplexity. So it's actually going to attach it. You can see that it's attached down here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you there. And then we're going to put the keyword in. So let's put, for example, SEO training in Vancouver. And now what you can see is based on our competitor's article is create a content outline, which is basically no BS. There's no fluff in there. And from here, 
we know exactly what to write about in our content based on what our competitors is ranking for already, right? Basically, we reverse engineered our competitors content for free, broken it down into relevant headings, and then we can go off and create the content. So now you're going to say, okay, I know how to get 20 relevant keywords customized to my business in like one click. I know how to generate a content outline for my content so that I know exactly what to write about. That was pretty easy. How do you create the content, Julian Goldie? Well, that's the next step. And what we're going to do from here is use this content generation prompt and we're going to generate this click by click. Now, I wouldn't recommend generating it all in one single click. I wouldn't recommend generating all the content in one click. And the reason for that is that sometimes AI can go off from a tangent. It can hallucinate. You want to check the quality of the content as you go along. And this way we can keep everything super relevant to the content that we want to create. Plus, because perplexity is so fast in creating content, and you can see this is on the free version. So I can click on pro right here and switch to the paid version if I want. But if I just want to use a free version, this is not selected right here. So you can do this for free. Anyone could do this, right? And what we can do is plug in a head in here, source context, which will come into in a minute. Then we're going to make sure it's optimized for the keyword. The reason that I put that there is because often if you don't have a sentence like that inside your prompt, the problem is AI is just going to generate content that is totally irrelevant. So it might read really well based on the prompt we've given it, but actually the content isn't optimized for the algorithm. And obviously we have to optimize for the user and the algorithm at the same time. Then from here, we're going to say easy to read plus feels conversational, UK grammar. Shout out to my Morecambe Massive. Then from there, we're going to add headers, subheaders, and in every header we'll use the keyword. You don't have to do that, but I think it does keep everything relevant. We're going to have the keyword in the first line and the last line. We're going to keep it real, keep it fresh, keep it engaging, first person. And then from here, these are just some things that you can do to make your content more readable and interesting, right? Because the more interesting it is, the more likely people are to land on the page. Now, you could just blast out AI content if you want. You could go onto Perplexity and ask it to generate content for that without all of this extra instructions right here. But the problem with that is it's going to be pretty much AI spam and it's not going to have any character to it. It's not going to be very interesting, right? So that's why we want to chop up everything into bullet points, lists and bold highlights want to sprinkle on a few stories and a bit of avar voom including sharing some interesting insights my particular favorite is writing in the tonality of alex Homozi, simply because i think he explains things very well and then this just stops the walls of text right so usually if you have ai it's going to be like big blocks of text that people are never going to read and this avoids that problem right so what we can do from here is we can take this prompt, plug it into perplexity like so. We're going to put the first heading into the content, for example, like this. Then for the source context, this is where you really personalize it to your business. Now, the more source context you give to AI, the more likely your content is to be more personalized and relevant to your website, right? So for example, I could put in the source context, the SEO elite circle, training by Julian Goldie is the best SEO training for any business. If you want to get more leads, traffic and sales from SEO. Then we could also say from here, it's an online course, very easy, simple, no fluff, plus comes with a community of elite SEOs, something like that, right? You can tailor that as much as you want to your business. You could even take like your sales page and plug it in there if you want. But I just like to add a few lines, just making it sure it's promoting me throughout the content. Because if I see that in now, throughout the content, it's more likely to convert because it's always going to mention me. It's always going to sell me throughout the content, right? Then what we can do is hit enter. It's got the heading right here. And what you can see is literally from this first sentence, from the get-go, it's already selling the fact that business owners need SEO training. Now, if you look at this particular content, it's prompted really nicely to just feel conversational and easy to read, right? So let's cut to the chase. If you're running a business in Vancouver, you need SEO training. Why? Right? And it answers the question straight away. Because without it, you're leaving money on the table. That's probably the thing that people care about the most, right? If they're running a business. And then you can see it breaks up the text. It's like, think about it. When was the last time you went past the first page for Google? Now, this feels like really conversational and easy to read. The text is nicely broken up. Then we've got a few bullet points and it's good to go, right? 
Now, some of these headers are going to be a little bit like AI fluff, right? So top benefits of SEO training for local businesses. I would probably just take that particular section right there as a header. Then we'll plug in the rest of our prompt and generate part two of the article, right? And you can either put this into a Google Doc that's ready to edit before you publish it, or you can start adding it to your website, but obviously don't publish it straight away because you're generating section by section. And ideally, you would go through your list of headings that we've got inside the content outline to generate your content step by step. Now I'm going to keep the source context a little bit shorter to see what happens next. Then we'll use the same prompt as before, but we've got a different heading. One thing I would note here is that you're going to write the introduction and the conclusion separately. And what you can see as we go through the content is it's using the same sort of thing. It's settling the benefits of SEO training. And then at this point, people are going to be like, oh, what's the best SEO training? And that's where it starts selling meat. It's got the benefits. It's got a header explaining why the SEO elite circle is the best SEO training. And step by step, it just sells it really nicely, right? And so using this workflow, you can easily pick the right keywords, generate the content outline, create the content. It's completely free, very quick to do, and you can generate something that's actually not like AI spam. Now, once you've generated all the content for each heading inside your content, you're going to want to edit it down, right? How do you edit it down? I've got this SEO checklist that you can use step by step for generating the content and just making sure you add the finishing touches, right? So for example, demonstrating expertise, experience, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness, adding some nice pictures, writing the introduction, adding your internal, external links and fact checking, etc. And so this process right here adds finishing touches to an article to avoid some of the weird stuff that AI sometimes comes out with. So that's pretty much it. Then you would just run it through an indexer or Google search console, get it indexed, check its ranking, and you're good to go. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get free access to the workflow or the prompts we've talked about today, and 75 other free SEO tutorials to rank with SEO, then check out my free course. Links inside the comments and description. This comes with tutorials on keyword research, SEO link building, quality control, topical maps, EAT, SEO systems, etc. And what I want to do in the free SEO tool section is I will call this perplexity workflow over here. And if you want to get free access to that, you can inside the video notes right here. One final thing that I'd recommend, if you want, you can actually create tools on perplexity. If you go to your library and then collection, we can put, for example, keyword planner in here and then insert the prompt that we originally got from our workflow, right? And if we insert that right there inside the AI prompt section, we can even make this shareable. And now we can come back to this tool anytime we need it to do the keyword research for us based on what's working for me, right? And then I don't need to type in the prompt every single time. I can just go to this link, which I've included inside the SAP. I can put niche equals SEO training. And it's given me a bunch of keyword ideas like so. And again, if I check some of these keywords, for example, like SEO training in Hong Kong, if we plug that into Ahrefs just to validate that the keyword research is actually accurate, you can see it's quite an easy keyword to go for. I wouldn't worry about traffic potential because it's a local keyword, but you can see, for example, most of the ranking pages right here don't have any backlinks pointing to them, right? Most of them have zero. So it's easy to create content and it's easy to rank for that keyword and that should be good to go now. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a free SEO strategy session to get more leads, traffic and sales and personalize basically everything that we've talked about today, then you can book that free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session and we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales. And inside this SEO domination plan, you're going to get the secrets of link building, We'll answer any questions you have, you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website, and you'll learn how to have cute competitors. And basically, we'll personalize everything that we've talked about today for your website to make more money. So, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye bye.